Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Echo, and welcome finally to Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.11.0. This is just a beta, it's only available on Android at the moment, this is the first version. First video I'm going to be showing you is how to change your skins. Yes, custom skins are now available on Minecraft Pocket Edition, so it's going to be awesome, hoping you will enjoy it. Um, so let's get into this basic tutorial. So as you can see, it says 0.11 Alpha Build 1, NVIDIA Shield Tablet, which is exactly what I'm using right here, as you guys can just about see there, uh, bottom left 0.11 again. So as you see, 0.11 introduced a lot of changes, so if I go into my settings here, you can see at the top we've got game, in here we've got like um, standard, controls and graphics. If you go in here, you can see I've already changed mine slightly, but basically what you do is, um, first thing is we're gonna get off this, I'm gonna completely get off Minecraft Pocket Edition to show you. We're gonna go to um, Google, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open a new tab and show you how this works. So what you need to do here is type in Minecraft, and as you can see the second one will pop up instantly saying Minecraft skins. Use any type of website here, you can use pretty much all of these. Um, it's up to you what you use. For example, I'm gonna use the top one, because it's just the best in my opinion. Um, and you can decide what skin you want to use. So let's go to top skins real quick and see what the top skins are. We've got a farm assist here, which is quite top. It looks very similar to the diamond mine car. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a minion, because I like minions, all right? So I'm going to go to minion, I'm going to select the minion, and all I need to do then is press download. Um, and for me, on the video shield, once, I've set, once it's downloaded, it says download. I can scroll this down here. Oh, there we go. As you can see at the top, it says minion.png download complete, right? So completely get rid of this. And then this is where you need to go back to Minecraft. So I'm going to go back into Minecraft Pocket Edition. It will boot up 0.11 again. Go back into my settings. Go back into where uh, you change your skins. Click Browse. And in Browse, it will automatically find your skin. Um, so these are just different. When it says Select All, you can see here, if I select this, I am now a minion. Select the model on which your skin fits. Um, let's just go to... Just select that one, that'll do. And if I go back in here and browse, you can see there's like silverfish, you can see enderman slime. I think they're just the normal um, PNG files for just them type of mobs. It doesn't really matter at all. Um, so I'm just gonna select the minion one time, select the minion, uh, and then back, and I'm gonna go to play. I'm gonna go to my world, simply loading up my world. And oops, I died, okay then. Um, all right, let's respawn. That was not meant to happen. Um, okay, let me go into my settings. So I'm gonna quickly scroll this up, go to this, go to options, um, and go to third person view. And as you can see right here, I now have a minion skin. Now this is very useful for um, Hunger Games to be specific, that way you can tell who's who. Um, but yeah, that is how you change it. I think it's a great addition, possibly one of the best things that's ever been introduced to Minecraft Pocket Edition. But if you guys do enjoy this video and it did help you out in any way, shape, or form, be sure to stick a big thack Big fat thumbs up on this video. Share it out with friends who also enjoy Minecraft Pocket Edition. I've been Echo. Have a great day. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.